fragrances to make you smell rich on a budget. Number 10 is actually number one because I honor you, the viewer. Sauvage Elixir. Find this fragrance on a budget and you'll have the number one fragrance in America or wherever you're from that will make you smell rich and alluring. It's got a pressurized sprayer. What does that mean, Unc? That means that it has a particular amount of spraying coming out of it. So even if you were to spray it like crazy like this and you think it's, oh my God, it's $200 bottle you're spraying like crazy it's actually not that expensive because of the minimal amount it would actually take you double the amount of sprays to fill up eight millimeter as say a fragrance like spice bomb which does not spray out like this pressurized spray. The next fragrance is very cheap. Nautica Voyage, a simple yet effective compliment, getting $20 for to seven hour lasting fragrance, aquatics, green notes. I like to wear it to the gym. Three sprays works for me for the three hours I go there. Here's another fragrance for cold weather or any weather, vanilla incense. It's called Mercedes Benz Club Black. If you have a Mercedes, you can buy this. If you don't have a Mercedes, you can buy this. This is one of the cheapest, longest lasting, sexiest, most complimented fragrances you could ever get. And I am coding a girl named Curly Fragrance. All right, gentlemen, now put your balls in a good cup of coffee and let's get in it. The next fragrance, I want you to comment down below if you like it. It's called Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum Ginger Apple and lots and lots of compliments. It's very effective. I got the top of answers on the board, Uncle Chris. Name a fragrance that smells like YS hell. Have you ever tried La Tafa Fucker? Now that's what I'm talking about. This is the fragrance I want you to comment down below if you like it. Both of these fragrances do smell similar, although this one, in my opinion, my humblest opinion, I feel like it's synthetic. The next fragrance is just awesome. Givenchy Gentleman 2022 Reserve Privé. It just smells so good and it lasts a long time and it makes you feel good. If you have an extra $400 lying around and you want to just smell rich, Go get angel share, be like me and walk around and you'll have mothers and daughters complimenting you. But if you don't have the $400 that has cognac in it and leather in it and other sexy notes in it, find this one. It has everything that I just said, cinnamon, leather, but no cognac and it's called La Tapa Karma. It even looks like the real bottle too. Wow, it's like 50 bucks, last eight hours. That last 10 or 12 hours. Armani Code Eau de Parfum versus Parfum. I did a test while at the store. I was about to buy the Parfum and I walked around for like 40 minutes buying sunglasses and shh. This code Eau de Parfum, to my opinion, beats the code Parfum. What are you talking about? Eau de Parfum, Parfum, what's the difference? Here's the deal. Code from the old days, Eau de Toilette. You can buy that big fat bottle on eBay for 80, 90 bucks. This is the new code. It's an Eau de Parfum concentration, which means the concentration of the fragrance is not as diluted in Eau de Toilette. Eau de Toilette can project more, but in this situation, this blows it away in longevity and it blows it away in projection. So I'm getting 10 hours out of this, just like Code Absolute Eau de Parfum. Then you got the Parfum, which is the most concentrated version. And when that happens, these concentrated oils makes all the notes a little bit more richer and it does definitely sit closer to your skin. So in this situation of the Armani, the Eau de Parfum wins and it is a massive compliment getter with lavender, suede, a little touch of confidence in there. Another one that does a good job is called One Million Parfum. In this situation, it's called One Million Parfum, and I know it's confusing. You have Eau de Parfum, now you have Parfum, and guess what? Did you know what this Sauvage Elixir is? What's the concentration? Anybody know? Anybody? It's called Parfum, Parfum Concentré. That's a new one, because they already make Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. They already make Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. They already make Dior Sauvage Parfum. Long time ago, Santos made something called Cologne Concentré. Santos is by Cartier. Coming up next, I have a brand new fragrance that's a dupe of Atomic Rose, so you don't want to miss that. And right after that, a Tom Ford fragrance that I've been rocking and getting it on with. The next fragrance is called Atomic Rose. It's a lovely fragrance. It looks like this. Here are all the notes. It's so good, and it reminds me of the battle between Creed Aventus and Club de Nuit Intense, where one of them smells synthetic and one of them doesn't. The difference in the dry down is unnoticeable. So. 
Badi al Ud by La Tafa Amethyst. Smells just like a comic rose. You got your Bulgarian rose, you got your spices, you got your longevity, you got your $50, $40 price tag. 1000%, I would recommend this fragrance. And it's a wearable rose fragrance that men or, or women can wear. And it's got this actually decent opening compared to like the Club the Nuit Intense version compared to Creed Aventus compared to this opening compared to that. If you get what I'm saying, if you like Atomic Rose, I think you'll really, really love this next fragrance I've been rocking all 2022. It's called Tom Ford Noir Extreme. And why do I like this? Because it has this like smoky flavor. Is it redundant to buy Tom Ford Noir Extreme if you already have the Eau de Parfum and you want to get the Parfum? Is it redundant? No. Get rid of your thing, sell it on Facebook or eBay, whatever. Who cares? Give it away or spray it away and use it up and buy this. This is far better than the Eau de Parfum Noir, Noir Extreme, Noir Anthos, just all it. This is the best one I've ever found. It's wearable. You can wear it to the office. It lasts all day long. It's got a beautiful blend of leather, orange blossom water, and other hispardanium fruits, like thick rinds that come out of it. It also has some jasmine notes to cool it down, and it's $220. I'm starting to love it, but the price tag, hey man, this is a budget movie. This is a budget video. What the? Are you talking about $200 fragrances? Well, that's somebody's budget, isn't it? Okay, here, try this. Prada Ohm Amber Intense. It's got 40% of the same notes. We'll give you the same effect. We're talking about it has the orange blossom water, the leather. It's not exactly the same, it doesn't have jasmine, but it does definitely make you smell rich, similarly to this. Not as good, not as cool. The next fragrance is called Tobacco Oud, another Tom Ford fragrance, and I found this fragrance that costs $40. It's $39. It smells just like it, but you gotta click right here to get to it. <laughs> 